I'm Sir Tap Tap, and welcome to Let's Play Toki Tori 2 Plus. If you cut these games provided by the developer. Um, yes, Parker, hello. Um, two tribes, uh, I guess they've announced that their next game is going to be their last, unfortunately. Uh, if you're not aware, this game, this is the PS4 version, but the original versions of this didn't sell very well. I'm not sure <clears throat> how well this one sold. Parker, come on. Um, but they've been pretty unlucky, and, uh, but it's a bit of a shame. Well, not a bit. Uh, but they've always had really good art in their games, and, uh, this game, I enjoyed the Ryu release a lot. Parker, please get down. They made some changes in this release. Um, I personally am not sure I, Parker, am going to appreciate them as much. Basically, the original game went all, like, there was no dialogue or anything. Oh, right. Duh. Um, and it just sort of, yeah, so n now there's dialogue. I I'm not, I'm not sure I'm a fan of it yet, but I'm not gonna diss it too much without having seen much. I, I only played about ten minutes of this version. I played several hours of the original one. I didn't get, I didn't, you know, 100% it. Parker! Um... There's a few major collectibles. I think there's just one or two, actually, that I left. But uh, the game's not particularly easy. It's got a sort of a... It's a puzzle... Parker. It's a puzzle game for sure, but it's got sort of a Metroid map going on. Parker, would you please not get on the keyboard? <clears throat> Which we'll see that in action later. Uh, something I really loved about the original release is that as we can see here, it sort of teaches you all of the interaction you need to beat the game without words. And it tells us, Parker, don't bump the mic. Okay, you need to get down. Crinkles. Sorry, Parker's very scared of crinkles for some reason. Like, I guess so that's just a cat thing. So I need to have just a random sheet of aluminum foil near my desk for Let's Plays now. Yeah, it works, doesn't it, Parker? Yeah. Yeah, I just really like how it teaches you all the puzzle bits. Ah, Parker! Okay, it doesn't work for very long, but it works. Get down! Get down! Get down! What is your deal? Get down! There we go. But it just does a really good job of teaching all the basic mechanics here without Parker. So giving you a tutorial. Um... See, like this bird, we can't really help but get caught by this bird. And it gives a nice little cinematic feel to a lot of these moments here. <laughs> like, we can see we're in a big forest here. We can sort of sing to the birds. Singing is a mechanic, we'll see that later. But yeah, I really enjoyed the original release of this. There's, uh... There's a lot of optional stuff you can collect. Uh, so, just beating the main puzzles isn't always... <laughs> The only goal. And you can- Parker? Track your progress and stuff later. But Parker, seriously, get down! Um. See, I just love how it teaches you, hey, the bird can grab that frog thing too. Because you can't really do anything to not let that frog get grabbed. And it also teaches you that grass somehow hides you from this bird. Oops. Unless you sing, I guess. There we go. Oh, I guess the short grass doesn't hide you. But the taller grass does. Okay, that's what we needed to do. Also, you move tile by tile, so you can sort of hang off a ledge like here. As long as one foot is on something. And here's our first glimpse at the map. I love that it sort of teaches you how to tweet there. We don't... Eventually, singing will have an effect, but not quite yet. So here we get our first glimpse at the map. Parker. We're going to see some more... Oh, I wonder what this could possibly be. So we've got obvious fast travel markers here. <coughs> and eventually we'll need to sort of wander all around the map. Um... The other one, don't feel like hero. You are. Yeah, I, I'm not sure I'm a real fan. Like, 
it's pretty obvious that, oh, giant tower. I mean, I think the intent there was pretty clear, even without words. Come here, little bug. Oh, right. You have to scare the bug. Get out of here, bug. Yeah, a lot of the puzzles use... There's really not too many individual mechanics, but the puzzles make uh, really good use of, you know, getting complexity out of simplicity, you know, just combining a bunch of different parts to make some fairly tricky puzzles. I actually got stuck a few times, and in the original, with the original release, it was really hard to find puzzles. That's the one thing where I didn't like the no words aspect, because there weren't um, level names, so I had no idea what to... Um, what to say I needed help with while, you know, Googling for stuff. I'm all the way out here, buddy. So you'll be seeing these friends a lot. And if you're not at quite the right level, actually, I'm not sure if I... Hmm. Let's get this checkpoint before we go in there. This may be Doom, I'm not sure. It's Doom. Okay. I think this is where... Yeah. See, I really like this. That teaches you the respawn chirp. And now you can see it in the, in the pause menu. In the Wii U version, you can see all the songs on the gamepad, which is actually a pretty nice little use of the gamepad. We don't get too many options here. We get, I get some shadow alpha, I guess. Sound effects, music, delete your save data. Uh, one thing I kind of would like, actually, is, like I said, I don't personally find the, um, um, the dial- the extra dialogue, or whatever you want to call it, useful. I would like to be able to turn that off, honestly, to see the original intent there. Because, I mean, there's some obvious foreshadowing here. I don't think it needs words. But, um, I guess if you- come into this version first, it may not matter as much to you. Oops. Oh wait, no, you actually do need to do that. Like I said, the game does a great job of teaching you without spelling crap out, which is exactly how tutorials should be. And well... Hmm. What did we do with this one? Oh, never mind. I don't need that little dude at all. Oh wait, yes I do. Yes I do. I see. So we have to... Excuse you. Need to get this guy over here. Dump this guy on the platform. And we cart him around. Dang it. You get very used to what you need to do, like how many spaces away from stuff you need to be to get, you know, position things exactly where you want them to be. I'm just a little bit out of practice because I haven't played. I played the Wii U version upon release, which it's been a couple of years now. It's been a while. Which way to go? No, we can't go that way anyway. As you, we get to see a quick peek of darkness here. Darkness, you know, they get terrified and they won't do stuff. The art in this game is just really great. Um, whistled subs. Okay. Bring down all barriers. Just I, I don't. I guess that was a puzzle people had trouble with, but I. I mean, there's only a couple of main interactions you can even do, so I think figuring these out was pretty simple personally. But I guess it's kind of like an easy mode. You know, it sort of explains stuff for you. And what's this? Yeah, so this is what you need those optional wing emblem things for. Obviously. So we need to open up this door. I think that first one uses less than... Wait, maybe I need even more to fill it still. Yeah, I did not 100% complete the game on the original release. Um, I still need to go back and do that. Uh, I just wanted to show you the beginning, not, you know, 
random crap, so I didn't play the Wii U version. I also, I think it only has one save file, unfortunately. I didn't want to erase my save file, um, so I thought I'd show you the PS4 version. I, um, I don't think it matters a whole ton. Actually, yeah, we better go to the town first. Um, <coughs> there are branching paths and stuff, obviously, but uh, you're kind of supposed to run along here for, oh, maybe not. Oh wait, we don't drown. Okay. Oh wait, yes we do. Never mind. I guess we can't go this way. <laughs> Sorry, friend. Uh, a lot like a Metroid game, there's uh, a lot of branching paths that simply aren't open to start with. You can die in this game, and you, you lose your thingies from the last checkpoint whenever you die. Uh-oh. I think you get to keep them. Or do we? Well, let's see. Oh, no, we don't. But that's fine. I guess we have to go this way, then. Yeah, a lot like a Metroid game. Um, I'll stop a little bit short of calling it, you know, it's not a Metroidvania, because we don't really... I think I was supposed to see what that was. Alright, these little relay guys are kind of fun. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you gain quote-unquote abilities in that you travel, like you get, um... Alright, you can't move those guys, they just, uh, yeah. Hmm. Wait, can you eat that? No, we can't eat that. Hmm. Oh, right, they walk down on their own. Okay. Uh-oh. No. Come here. Uh, what was I talking about? It has- it definitely has the Metroid map, and you know... At first your path is sort of forced, but uh, it gets a lot more open once we get to, uh, there's a certain area. I'm not sure if we'll get to it in this video, but uh... <coughs> Here's one of the first things that's supposed to be able to kill you, I guess. Oops. And there it goes. I guess maybe you were supposed to think... Oh, right. That bird told me to respawn, I think. Yeah, we went and found our first death on our own. You can actually die from those um, black pillars in the first area, too. See, I, I love the backgrounds. The the game... the In general, the 2D art's really good. If you haven't played the original Toki Tori... Yeah, this is just a little tutorial that you can distract those birds. Uh, the original to Toki Tori is a lot simpler. It's, you know, level by level puzzles, and it's a bit closer to, you know, the standard block pushing puzzles. And this is just a little hint that you can, you know, reset. Yeah. I don't know why they didn't have just an option to, you know, I would call it hints personally. I guess some of it is story, kind of, but it's mostly just hints with the dialogue. I don't think it's very necessary. There's certain puzzles that are pretty hard, but they're all later on. I mean, I don't think at this point... Oop. Oh, that's why it's warning you, because you can kill that bug, or frog. I'm not sure why that triggered the first time, because there, no, there was nothing to, you know, mess up until we had this frog friend. Uh, how do we scare this dude? There's a ra there's a limited range on your stomp and chirp sounds that's showed visibly. Here we go. But yeah, the general. I need to get that guy on there without. There we go. Ah. Move! Okay, there we go. But yeah, there is a general sense of progress. Once we get to a certain point, we'll, uh... <coughs> we'll need to get certain, like, elemental frog things. And, um... Open some doors and stuff. So there is progress in this game. It's not just completely linear, either. Like, you can, you can choose which way you go, and, uh... I wish we would get that warp song soon. I, for, I really do forget what, exactly when that happens. Um, 
This time we actually need this guy to carry us over. So the game does a lot with not tons of mechanics. We haven't seen everything yet by any means, but... Um, I'm not sure why he's asleep. There we go. Oops. Frick. Just look how lovely the 2D art is. I'm, I'm really sad that Two Tribes is... Bird? Bird. There we go. The Two Tribes is closing. Um, I guess they're closing on their own terms at least, which is good, but uh, still. Um, if you're not familiar, Rive, their next game is like a platforming shoot 'em up. So it's not <laughs> not quite like this, which I guess is to be expected. The They like closed and reopened and restructured and stuff after the release of this game. Oh. So we see a bit more of the spooky stuff. Crystal leakage ruin everything. We must be forewarned things up. Okay. I mean I mean bad stuff is happening. That that much is evident. Oh, I mean, there obviously is a story, it's not like it's made up, but, aw. Oh. I want that! Oh well. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Uh-oh. It's actually not what we want. Come on, birds! Alright, we can actually keep the frog at bay, like this. Up, oh, frick. Rest in peace. Would you grow already? Oh wait, no, they're gonna get it anyway. Okay, let's go. There's such an unusual design there, with the birds in the water file. There we go. Hmm, actually, I'm not sure if this is the right, right angle. Oh wait, yeah, no, nah, it's fine. These mounds are actually shortcuts. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. Is this the teleport song? Oh wait, it's du it's mirrored. Okay, hang on. I forget what song that was. Is this going to the cave area? Yes. So there's some major areas, and this one's pretty cool. Is this where we? No. Yeah, this just shows us the map. Which, as we can see, there's a bunch of different major areas. Uh, game's pretty dang big. Um, it's not insanely long. Uh, I forget how long it is exactly, but definitely a few hours long at least. <coughs> Options to see the location. Yeah, so that's... There is a fast travel melody. There's a couple others too. Oh, 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 never mind. Oh, dead. <laughs> I forgot about that. You can't sing underwater, unsurprisingly. Well, we're dead. Sorry. Let's see. We just need to. Huh? Eh? Alright, we need it on the ground. There we go. And there's a lot of different, almost every <coughs> bit of a puzzle can interact with other pieces, which leads to puzzles getting pretty complex. Oops. Hmm. Oh, there we go. I almost forgot about that. But yeah, this is one of the areas that I like, visually speaking. The volcano area, as you might suspect, is the first area where I got stuck. It's pretty hard. Hmm. Oh! Wait, no. Was he originally flipped over? There we go, okay. The first areas are decently set up so that you can't you can move the camera. By the way, I didn't notice. Um, 
It also keeps track of which doors you've opened, which is an essential Metroidvania feature, in my opinion. Um, the, the Kirby... Well, I forget what the deal is with these guys, actually. Oh, yes! This is our introduction to light. See, light puzzles are interesting. Is it? Eventually, moles open some of those. Oh, those little peaks. That's that's one of my favorite things in Metroidvania game design. Those little peaks at future areas. Not the stuff. Oh crap, I forget what the wing... ...thing means. That's something to do with a later power. Um, it's been so long. Don't I remember, but yeah. Darkness affects almost every, you know, living creature, so you end up with some interesting stuff. I think we can't teleport here or something. Yeah, that's it, that's it. You, you get picked up by a bird, and since we're underground, that doesn't work. these little birds around. Options to see the collectible melody. Oh! I accidentally did that one. Yeah, that's that's a fairly important one. Um, eventually, you're supposed to find little birds that teach you these. This one's optional and not a huge deal, but it helps you find collectibles and I think it shows differently once you, once you know there's no collectibles to get. Hmm. So we can't see. Can we get these guys through here? No, we can't. Okay, what was the deal here then? Oh, right. As long as we're in the light. He doesn't have to be in the light, we do. Okay. Right, and these little bugs emit light. I kind of want to show you what happens when we get picked up, but I'm not sure if we'll find the hint to transport anytime soon. Like, it's not super far, but I'm not sure if it's like 5 minutes versus like 15 minutes. I could be misremembering, but I'm not sure the lighting was this good in the Wii U version or not. Um, it'll be... What are we doing here? I'm not sure if I can get this guy over here. I think this bit of darkness is a problem. I'm not sure if I can do anything about that. Yeah, he doesn't want to. He just nopes out once he gets to that edge. Hmm. Oh, and a cute touch. The uh, the lights are actually those little butterflies, but they're trapped. Hmm. Oh, 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 I'm stupid. Hold on. There are very few puzzles that you can't solve without, you know, if you can reach a puzzle, pretty much you can always solve it. Uh, you're just not thinking of the right thing or whatever. There we go. So you're pretty much never stuck unless the game, you know, has a little bird to remind you of the checkpoint hint. That's usually a very strong hint that, you know, you're stuck and you need to reset. And getting stuck never really sends you back very far. It's a fairly forgiving game. Oops. Bunch of terrified frogs. They we do need to get captured by this guy. Their eyes are so spooky in the dark. Now let's get through this next portal and see what we got. Or portal. Door. There we go. Hello, Parker. Yes. Yes! Oh, no. Get the- Parker! Don't! Why are you so annoying today? 
There we go. And now I need a frog. Um, no, 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 no. Go away. Thank you. How do I... Oh yeah, in the corner should be... Wait, no it's not. Need to go up. There we go. Okay. Get the frog. I think this might be where we get the transport. If it's not, um, I'll just take a quick, quick peek in the next area and then bolt. I want to say there's more shortcuts in this one. I don't remember seeing quite as many molehills before. I could be wrong though. It's sort of harder to tell where you are in this whole cave area. These guys don't chase you or anything. They just kill you if they see you. Um, oh, right. We need to knock him down. Hmm. So I guess it is... Hmm. Oh, right. I guess it's further than I thought to get the transport power. So, uh... All right, bats. Hi, bat friends. Bat friends kill everything. <laughs> They're very mean friends. Up, oh, right, and they see in the dark, obviously. So don't agitate the bat friends. They, well, they're not very good friends, to be quite honest. No offense, bat friends. Well, some offense, I guess. But yeah, this is Toki Tori 2 Plus. It's pretty lengthy. Very lovely. Uh, we haven't seen any particularly hard puzzles yet, but they do exist. Right, and if you find dull, um, whatchamacallit, butterflies, you can light them with a different one, but they go out in water. That's a decent show of the mechanics, but that's not all of them by any means. So yeah, this is Toki Tori 2 Plus. It's on PC, PS4, um, Wii U, I assume it's on Xbox One. You know, pretty much all of the new, the major consoles. I'm not, I don't know if it has a Wii, Vita port. I don't think so. Um, but yeah, definitely check it out if you like, you know, puzzly things.